Hi everyone, my name is Belen and together with Bailey we are going to be presenting this paper with title Pick Someone Who Can Give Your Ass Money Work in Financial Third Party Access. The paper is a collaboration between three institutions, Northumbria University, where I am a PhD candidate, Tuco, a financial technology startup founded by Bailey, and the Monumental Health Policy Institute, a charity based in the UK. The paper is about three things. It's about money work, and money work is a concept that designers have borrowed from sociology to refer to the labor involved in everyday financial tasks. It is about open banking, and open banking it refers to the availability of banks' customer data to external organizations through APIs. And it is about financial third-party access. And financial third-party access refers to the engagement of others in the management of our personal finances and to the mechanisms that enable that engagement. Uh, we asked ourselves two questions. What kind of money work is involved in financial third-party access? And could we use open banking to enable better forms of third-party access, given the problems and the limitations of existing ones? And Bailey will explain to you what we did to answer these questions. To answer those questions, we designed a new app called Tukin. And it's really designed for people with long-term mental health difficulties because they're more likely to be in problem debt or in financial difficulty, and because research shows that they could really benefit from support around their money management. The app itself is very simple. After asking permission to connect to your bank account using open banking, you can then configure some spending alerts for things like if your balance goes under a certain amount or if you spend over a certain amount in a day. You'll then receive those alerts via text message. You can also, though, share those alerts with a second person, an accountability buddy, if you will, a friend or a family member. That person is someone that the app refers to as an ally. They'll receive a different text message from you though. Yours will tell you a bit about why the text message was sent, whereas theirs is just a gentle nudge to get in touch to check that you're okay. In this way, Toucan is very different to traditional formal mechanisms like power of attorney because it doesn't give that second person any right to see really personal information or to actually transact or access your money. We were lucky to collaborate with the Money and Mental Health Policy Institute on the pilot, and we had access to 14 people who self-identified as having mental health conditions. They tested the app over 90 days, and we interviewed them as well as sent them written diaries that they could fill out, and we asked them two questions every week via WhatsApp how positive they were feeling about money and if they'd actually interacted with their ally at all that week. What did we find out? Well, let's go back to our research questions. First of all, what kind of money work is involved in financial third party access? Well, in the case of Token, this was it. People needed to choose the right person to become their Token ally and they had to convince them to do so. They also had to decide what to share with them. Then the press had to establish a collaboration protocol, deciding things like what would the ally do after receiving an alert? And then they also had to negotiate the trade-offs of information disclosure. And there's lots of information about um, these tasks in the paper. What about the second question? Can we use open banking to enable better forms of financial third-party access? We think the answer to this one is yes, we certainly can. Third-party access involves two factors. Power to transact of information disclosure. And we can represent them like this, as two axes perpendicular to each other that create four quadrants. We can map all existing forms of financial third-party access within these four quadrants. And two can be down there on the left, on the bottom left, because it doesn't give the ally any power to transact and gives them little to known financial information. When we look at this map, we immediately realize that the left half of it is rather empty. Existing mechanisms for third-party access are very much focused on providing the third-party power to transact, but they are not looking at the possibilities enabled by just sharing information. This is an open area for designers to experiment, and open banking enables them to do so. Financial third-party access is a tricky problem. It requires us to strike a very careful balance between autonomy and protection, but designers can definitely help with that by deploying practice-sensitive approaches that start from people's situated actions. Thank you.